So golf mates on this beautiful day, what I've got in my hand is brand new in the wrapper Dunlop 65. Now I've been trying to get some dates on these, they're going to be the 70s I would imagine. They're actually personalised by a company called Panda Freight, if you can see. Now they went bust in 2002 but they started uh, working in 1960. So I remember these are the small balls, so in my little info what I've done for them I think it was in 1980 that we changed over to the bigger balls on 1981 So these are, they're going to be the 70s I would imagine, they're not going to be any earlier in the 70s But they're not going to be any later in the 80s, so they're in the 70s So I thought to myself, I might as well have a go of them, aren't I, because they're, they're crazy So I can tell they're a little bit smaller, they feel A bit nasty, you know what I mean, like uh, an ultra <laughs> So how do we test them? Might as well play with them, aren't I? So I'm at Chorn Kamadi, beautiful day. I'll do three holes with them. I'm starting off on the third, which is a long goal. I might have dropped one here because I'm not that warm. It's 415 yards with a little ball. Wind going that way. So let's have a go. See if it scores any difference with these. So wind's going that way. Hopefully I can put a nice strike on it. So it's just clipped side of the bunker and kicked forward. So I'm in play. It's absolutely ram forever this ball. Right, I've got 156, I'm gonna rate an 8. It's slightly downwind, I don't know how far it's gonna go, and plus I don't know how, how good I'm playing. But the feel off the club, well, there wasn't any feel, it just sounded hard, but I didn't really feel the ball, to be honest. I hope you can see that. Right. <laughs> right we're I've been, I've been in a bad place with the shanks, right. I've slightly feared, but the wind, I think the wind is that way. It's in the middle of green. With a 1970s ball or younger, probably 1970s. <laughs> I don't do this on a Saturday with my Pro V's. Right, put the divot back. The future. Really happy with the result. It has it, back of the bunker, trickled on here, but I will take this. This is stroke free, this. So I'm going to put it, this is the oldest putter I've got. I won't go into it, it might be real, it might not. The ball looks so small. Uh, rest my case. Honestly, someone will think I'm taking the piss. <laughs> Don't lock 65 out of the packet, it's been there for about 30 years and I've just birded stroke free. No takes, no nothing. Let's play some more holes. Right, I've just called a fellow member, Jeff here, and Jeff's a bit older than me, so I asked him how long has he been playing, and Jeff, how long have you been playing? Uh, 75. 75. Can I ask you a question about these Dunlop balls? Right. Do you remember them? Oh yeah, I used to play with them. What year would you think these were? Knocking around. Oh, they were, well, when I started Dunlop 65s and Penfold Ace, they were the, the balls we were playing with. They were, and that was 75, and they carried on into the 80s. So, would, what year would you say? They're going to be oh. 70s, then, oh, aren't yeah, they? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. And the, the tale about a wrapped ball, it's not Dunlop, but um, chap I used to know, he and a friend got to play at Muirfield 
Right, not many people do. No, they don't. And they, but they had to play with two members, you have to play in fours. Right. So they said, what are we playing for, guys? I said, oh, rat ball. So this, this friend of mine thought, this rat ball, that's a nice new ball wrapped in cellophane. When they finished, and my friend had won, it was each were handed a nice new ball wrapped in a fiver. <laughs> so that's what it will use that to be then. Steak. And oh, that's in Scotland? That was in Muirfield, that, yeah. Well, yeah, I got a lot. Right, so 70s you reckon these? Oh, definitely, yeah. Thank you very yeah. much, Jeff. And the, the named after, I think it was Henry Cotton, scored 65 in one of his rounds. Oh, so and that's where the names come from? Exactly, yes. Yeah. So there you are, I'm learning. The names come from Henry Cotton, Sir Henry. Scored a, or Sir Henry Cotton, scored a, a gross 65 and they got named after him. They did, yes. Thanks for your time, Jeff. That's all right, William. Right, the weather's fantastic now. We've gone to the fifth hole. I am playing off the ladies' tees, it's just because the, the uh, gents' tee it's in the shade. So here, it's 260 yards. I'm still laughing, I can't believe I've birded that all. I don't think I've birded it all season in a metal round. In fact, I haven't, I know I haven't. So with Jeff's little cameo there, these balls are definitely from the 70s. Early 70s or late 70s. I don't really know, but they are from the 70s. Forty! And I could have killed Jeff. Not to worry, it's gone right, but that's me, not the ball. Come off it, it's gone about 200 yards. I've got 65 yards over the pin. Wind that way, so I'm going to try and aim left of the bunker. Tricky shot, we'll take it on. Don't lock 65, I'm not expecting it to spin. Hey, it could be good. I think I've got a pot for birdie again. Come on! So, right, I have a birdie put. Did he check up? The greens are soft. It did. Just about it's 20 foot it's gone, but the greens are soft. I'll cry. If, it, if I hit, I know it's illegal if I play with this, but if I birdie this, I'm laughing. Like that video for that birdie, you've got to do. <coughs> I was born in 1978. Comment below, do you think this golf ball is older than me? No marks in it yet, but it is hard as nails. Listen, I know there's a few old timers who watch this channel. Have you played with this golf ball? Maybe not that one. Right, we're off the white tees now. 263 yards into wind, the 18. Normally I always hit a four or five iron here. Wind's into a bit. Let's see who I can finish with a par. I'll, I'll laugh my head off. And while I'm doing this, I might look relaxed. And I've lost my phone so we're on the course. So after I've done this video, I'm on the old Benny Hill track by my phone. It's got in the trees. You all right? I know what you're thinking, I should just chip it out back there. Got a gap to the flag. I didn't pay for these balls, so I might as well have a goal. Got a little seven are you trying to punch one in? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Look at how nice. It's hit the green and it's just ran through him for miles. Chip and put. Can I finish level par with three holes to go? Well, three holes played. What we're doing in here anyway? Right, you can see what I'm left with here. Uphill, downhill, this is not happening, this. Probably a bump here, but I've gone for the old high tariff shot for no reason whatsoever, just to make a fool of myself. I think this is impossible. Got 
What a chance. That weren't a bad shot, that. Right, I'm in the shade. I do apologise about it. But it is this time of year. Getting to the autumn. Might not see me in a t-shirt ever again. This for a par. 1970s ball. Coming below, like I said, I know there's a few old codgers who watch the channel. You might have played with these. Old Joe. Mr. Kipling. Jordy Sancaster. John Lawson. Can I get a par for the boys? Hold it or it didn't break. So I birded the first. Got a sneaky par on the second hole I played and I parred that. No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't. I got a bogey, didn't I? In the trees. Right. I've enjoyed that, but I'm going to do something now. You'll probably get another voided video shortly. I'm going to go out with a Pro V against this and just play with it, with each other, see what happens. Imagine if this come on top. <laughs> Comment if you can. Have you played with these and like the video? And remember, if you're not subscribed, why don't you do it? It's easy. Press the button. See you soon. Yeah.